Hello everyone, I'm Dr. Anush Prashel, an MBBS intern at Government Medical College, Nagpur and in this video, I'll be taking you through a night duty in my life where I'll be posted in the trauma care center at our hospital. Night duties are as common as day duties during internship where you have to stay the entire night at the hospital from 8 p.m. to 8 a.m. in the morning, help the junior residents, see the patients and try to learn something new. Today is my second night duty. It's been almost one month and two days in my internship and I'm currently posted in the trauma unit, so the trauma care center. We're going to have patients all night long and I'll be assessing assessing the GCS score, assessing the CNS and also writing some of the investigations as well as managing them conservatively before the actual treatment is started. So I'm really excited to take you all on this amazing journey. I welcome you all to internship vlog number two, night duty starts. Last week my pediatric posting got ended and now I am in surgery that is the trauma unit. So my duty hours is going to be 12 hours of night duty from 8 p.m. to 8 a.m. in the morning and is going to be busy all throughout. I won't be getting a lot of time in between to sit and talk. At the same time I'm also not going to be revealing a lot of patient details. So yeah it's going to be difficult to shoot this vlog. So consider dropping a like and a subscribe because I hope that it turned out beautiful. So without any further ado let's start. It was around 7.30 when I sat down in my car and I was ready to go. Traffic jams are increasing in Nagpur day by day um, mostly because there is so much construction work going on here and there but yes so I'm stuck in traffic for the last five minutes hopefully this clears up soon I reached the trauma care center at around 8 so that is the trauma care center and that is our casualty department So how do you actually end up in a trauma center? Let's say you were in an accident, you had some injury to your chest, to your abdomen, etc, etc. The ambulance will bring you to our trauma care center and we will be evaluating you for those injuries. So for that we have to do a clinical examination and that's the first thing which I did when I entered over there. The most important part over here is time. So as soon as the patient is brought to you, you should be able to assess them quickly, order the proper investigation and start the proper treatment. One of the key things that we have to do for every patient is called as the Gasco Comma Scale, GCS for short. It's an examination which tells you the neurological status of the patient and it helps you classify the patients into different groups. And based on this GCS score, you will be able to determine if their brain functioning is normal or not. I learned the GCS score back in my third year from MBBS and it was all completely theoretical. I had to memorize the entire table by heart in order to calculate the GCS score. But now that I'm using it practically on a day-to-day -day basis, I can now visualize the GCS score when I see the patient directly. That is the power of transforming your theory knowledge to practical one by completely practicing every day. And several times in our NEET PG also we are getting questions on how to assess the GCS score of a patient which I'm pretty sure I won't be getting wrong anytime soon. Right after that was done I sat down to do some paperwork which internship is absolutely full of. Right from writing discharge summaries to patho forms to CT scan and x-ray forms to so many different things. It must be done. So yeah that's what I did for the better part of one hour after the patients were done. Along with that, there was a patient who was admitted in our ward who was suffering from something called as hemothorax. That means there was blood in his thorax and the exact place where the blood was, was between the pleural layers. So he was unable to breathe properly. So what we needed to do was put a tube inside his chest, right where the lungs are and take out the fluid and, and allow the fluid to drain out completely. And only and only then would the lung completely fully expand and the patient would be able to breathe properly. This procedure is called as putting an ICD or intercostal drainage tube. And I'm so happy to tell you that I was given the chance to help my JR1 sir with it. This was the first time of me doing this procedure and my senior guided me through each and every part of it. I'm really really happy that so far of all the postings that I've been posted with, all the residents have been super kind to me. I would love to know what is your internship experience down below in the comment. By the way, if you're liking this video, please make sure to hit the subscribe button because making videos takes up a ton of time, effort and energy and subscribing in just 2 seconds would help me a lot. Doing all of this, the 4 hours of my time just flew away like that. I did not even know how to do it.
Hello everyone, so it was a pretty hectic uh, time today. It's uh, currently 12.30. I just came here to have my food because I didn't have food at home. It was just 7.30 when I started. So the most notable thing which I did today was an ICD insertion with uh, JR1 sir. Uh, I also did the suturing of that part and it was pretty amazing because this was the first time I'm actually doing some procedure uh, rather than just sampling or intracath. So this definitely feels so good. Uh, the trauma casualty today is a bit low. I don't know why. But uh, the patients come here in birth. Just one hour ago, we had seven, eight people who had uh, been in a fight and they all came together. So we had to do the primary notes and uh, GCS evaluation of all of them. Mostly in trauma here, we are dealing with the patients who have had a head injury or a blunt trauma of chest or blunt trauma of abdomen. And we evaluate for possible injuries to the different vital organs of the body, such as most importantly, the head, the thorax, in which we have got the lungs, the heart, mediastinum. And in the, inside the abdomen, we've got different things like the spleen, the kidney, the liver, all of that solid organs. This part of the hospital is very separate from from the remaining building so my last duty was over in that building which is the normal wards and everything this one is the trauma care complex TCC as it is called so yeah that's uh, that has been the current update I am very much enjoying this posting because it just feels like a real doctor's job to do all of this what I've also learned from forensic medicine posting as well as being on trauma is road traffic accidents are extremely extremely dangerous so everybody who is uh, driving a car wear a seat belt and if you are on a two-wheeler make sure you guys are wearing a helmet because a lot of the head injury cases can go bad very very soon so yeah that was it I'm going to have my lunch <laughs> Lunch nahi. I'm going to have my dinner. It's got shimla mishki sabji and rotis. So let's get on with it. I don't know if I'm going to car. I'm going to what I've also learned from this is the doctor's life is pretty difficult, you know. Our residents are working 24 hours over here without any sort of breaks and us interns are also uh, supposed to be here 24 hours. So we are, we are doing duties in our shift, so 6-6 six, six hours ke duty hoti and rat mein 12 hours ke duty hoti, 8 to 8 wali. There is no timing fix for lunch, no timing fix for dinner, no private life, no personal life, nothing. It's just you, your job, your hospital, your patients and their investigations, reports and their treatment. So this is the part of the doctor life which is, which I don't think nobody shows. When I'm just having my dinner, uh, sitting in my car alone at 12.30. After having seen so many patients in the casualty after doing an ICD drainage. This is what I would say the actual hectic part of the life is when you don't have any timing to do anything personal. Even tomorrow after the night duty I won't get any time to sleep. I have to edit this video so that I have to put it out on Sunday. So yes it is hectic definitely my studies are suffering quite a lot but I think that this is worth it. I'm learning quite a lot from it. Around 1.30 in the night the patient load kind of decreased and we had some relatively free time for ourselves. During that time my seniors told me to put in intracaths into different patients whose intracath was out or hadn't been placed in the first place. What is an intracath? So anytime you go to hospital you might see people with different sort of tubes going inside their bodies. Uh, the place where you give the saline from, that is what we call as an intracath, catheter which is placed inside your vein. In my last posting of pediatrics, I was given the chance to put an intracath for around 4-5 to five kids who were admitted in my ward. Wherein kids, the veins are very very difficult to localize and they also move their hands quite a lot. I was really happy to see that it was not the case in adults where the veins were extremely beautifully visible and you can get the intracath done within 2 minutes. I was like 2.30. And then I was told to accompany the patient who was in the CT scan room because he was moving quite a lot. And if you move during your CT scan is done, even if this much, then your entire image becomes distorted. You won't be able to correctly diagnose what disease is present. It becomes an aesthetic photo, blurry hota hai, but kaam ka hota. So I had to sedate him by giving him midazolam, which is a benzodiazepine, which basically puts you to sleep. After the CT scan was done, I made a few videos of the scan and I showed it to my seniors. What is really striking to me is that the difference between final year and internship is the same between 10th and 11th. It is that huge. In final year, you are just absolutely studying and studying and you feel like, oh my god, I have so much work to do. But in internship, you are working so much, you don't even have a minute to study. You feel like final year was the easy part. The campus is empty. 
द सेम वे इन क्लास टेंथ वेन यू फील बापर टेंथ कितना हार्ड एंड देन यू एक्चुअली गो टू इलेवन यू लाइक टेंथ तो कितना ईजी पार्ट था वन ऑफ थिंग्स आई वुड रियली लाइक टू शेयर विच इज काइंड ऑफ अनदर मेंटल ब्रेक डाउन आई सॉर्ट ऑफ हैड सो आई बिकेम वेरी नेगेटिव बाय द एंड ऑफ माई पीडियाट्रिक पोस्टिंग बिफोर माई ट्रामा पोस्टिंग एक्चुअली स्टार्टेड एंड दट वॉज बिकॉज आई वॉज नॉट एबल टू स्टडी प्रॉपली आई वॉज नॉट एबल टू मेक वीडियोज प्रॉपली आई वॉज नॉट एबल टू गो आउट विद माई फ्रेंड्स सो ऑल ऑफ दीज थिंग्स काइंड ऑफ हैड एन इम्पैक्ट ऑन मी एंड आई वॉज लाइक यार मैं एक्सटेंशन डाल दूँ क्या दो हफ्ते का आप मैं वीडियोज बनाऊंगा घर पर बैठ के पढ़ूंगा इन दीज डार्क टाइम्स यू शुड नो दैट डोंट मेक अ रैश डिसीजन यू आर जस्ट फीलिंग वॉट यू कॉल बर्न आउट एंड ड्यूरिंग बर्न आउट ऑल यू नीड टू डू इज टेक सम रेस्ट फॉर योर सेल्फ सो आई जस्ट डिड नॉट स्टडी एनी थिंग एट ऑल फॉर टू टू थ्री डेज आई वॉच माई फेवरेट मूवीज एंड आई डिड माई ड्यूटी एंड आई नाउ फील वेरी वेरी हैप्पी दैट आई डिड दैट एंड फाइनली द सन रोज अप एंड आई वॉज बैक एट माई होम द ट्वेल्व आर ड्यूटी हैड एंडेड एंड आई हैड लर्न सो मच Hi everyone finally back back to home So yes that has been it from my side thank you so much for watching everyone it really means a lot to me that you guys click on anything that i make and yeah if you are new here please subscribe and become part of the 10 am club har sunday 10 am ko ek video aayegi no matter how hard my internship gets chalo it's doctor anush special i'll see you next time goodbye